In this tutorial, we will implement a radar device. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you want to access the code or the assets of, of this tutorial or looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hi everyone, um, in this tutorial uh, I'll show you how to make a a minimap device using Verse uh, and we are, we are calling it, it could be called a minimap but it's actually more like a radius. Um, that's because of the, you know, uh, the limitations of how things work with Verse. Um, so in our minimap or let's say in our radius we can show um, other players and other NPCs uh, and uh, and according to their uh, like team attitude uh, means that uh, are they are they an enemy or are they friendly are they neutral we can um, also you know discern them with a color um, so we have so for this one we have some it's not radius it's a it's radar so we have a bit a couple of textures for these um, and of course you can use your own uh, as well uh, or you can uh, access these assets, assets through our patreon so we'll use the white marker um, for the player yellow marker for the um, neutral ones but uh, and the red one for the um, enemies and green one for the friendlies basically we will have this radar on the screen, um, I, I'm, I placed it um, at the top center, but you can place it anywhere else. Um, and I'll show you how you can do that just using the uh, editable values on the device. So these are radar. This is our radar. This is our minimap. Um, so I'm. So this is a device. So let me show you how. Uh, show. Let me show you all the variables. Um, that you need to set for this to work so you can so you need to set the player spawners um, for this to work um, with the players because this is where we initialize stuff so then uh, for it uh, for to test it with the guards uh, you can um, uh, or you know not just for testing but you might uh, have guards in your game as well so you can uh, like put guard spawners uh, in this array and uh, the, then the radar will show the guards uh, spawned by these spawners as well uh, so uh, then the rest of these are just you know straightforward um, so this is the minimap size anchor alignment and offsets so this is basically uh, uh, the positioning and size of the radar on the U on the screen so this is just the pixel size of it and then the rest is just the anchor so I'm anchoring it um, uh, at the middle of the screen and at the top um, and then of course uh, because of that I'm also uh, using the alignment uh, uh, with uh, top center as well so that the uh, minimap will be visible uh, just as I want it and then I just give it a little bit um, top offset and oh, these are the these should be the default values I suppose yeah 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 okay all right now I had some left offset so and actually anchor to so actually let's make these the default values right let's build that okay all right, now they are the default values, um, but of course you can use any value. You can just basically um, changing these values. You can position the radar on anywhere you want on the screen and change the size of it. So this is the size of the markers and we have a bit large uh, size for the player marker and then smaller sizes for the other ones. Uh, actually, these are pretty big compared to the uh, size of the radar. This is because for with our textures we have so we have a, some like falling off color so it puts uh, uh, a lot of empty space around the texture 
so the visible part of it is comparably small to the actual part of the texture so that's why i put them large but if you're using some other textures all you need to do is just configure the sizes to your textures and there's um, another thing if um, so these all should be ui and user interface 2d right texture group ui compression settings should be user interface 2d and if you uh, get any um like uh, validation errors for these textures just right click um and there should be um there's not right now because it's a uh, uh, it's not causing an error if there's a validation error you can just uh, uh, you will have a uh, like a warning sign on the top left of the assets you can just right click and then click on confirm texture or something like that you will have something uh, uh some setting like that and then when you click it it'll like fix that uh texture for you and so the last one is the the minimap radius for length so this is basically uh, how much of this radius uh on the radar uh corresponds uh to the to, to the world to the world distance so in our case I set it to 5120 so it means that the radius uh, of this radar uh, this minimap uh, is uh, equivalent to distance of 5120 in the in the world and that's actually I, I suppose that's like if I'm not mistaken that's like 10 grids I, I suppose and that's all you need to do and that's all you need to set um, to use these to use this device uh, of course to change the textures we have an important note here you just come here and these are the local variables used by the module so you just if you like have your radar let's say you just set this to like your own radar right let's say my radar or something else so all you need to do is just change this value texture asset path here and you don't and then uh, this variable will use that and the code will work is fine and now let me show you actually how it works um, so for uh, so per agent we uh, keep the canvas and then we keep the widgets like the marker widgets uh, we uh, like we basically um, put all of them in an array we keep track of them so these are I already showed these oops okay um make sure it's not yeah okay so then we and that's yeah we have that agent data we have that in a map uh then we also keep track of this pwned npcs and then we also have a boolean b game game active it's this is not really necessary um but there, there there's some edge case that might cause like async functions um uh, to like um to cause a runtime error uh but that's um that's i mean it shouldn't happen but uh, it's a ufn issue it sometimes happens so in this example i just used it so you can just say on end game active to false and then you can break your from break from your async function using that uh, using that boolean value. So we listen to the events here, right? Um, and then we initialize this array with empty sixteen empty elements. So because we are keep going to fill this array, um, and we are going to keep filling it and keep emptying it as the NPC spawn and die so um this way with optional slots i'm is uh, uh, i'm making sure it's a little bit more efficient than just using uh, a map i mean or a you know just not um, constantly removing and inserting elements from an agent array i simply like nullify this optional value and then set it back so i'll actually show that for you so here if a guard is spawned 
I first look for an empty slot in the array and if I can't find it, that's great. I don't need to add a new element to the array. I just fill that uh, value. If I don't find a new, an empty, empty slot, then I'm just going to add a new one. <clears throat> and when a guard is eliminated, I just find that um, slot and I just empty it, right? And that's all I do. Uh, so these are helper functions, uh, so we just, per team attitude, we return a texture or we return a size. These are for the markers, as you can see. Uh, so here we create the canvas, so we just have the radar, so we have the minimap canvas, so this is the just the background and then the player marker at the center. Um, uh, and then we have an outer canvas around that this is you know a trick we do to position this stuff easily on the screen um, and then so the async function where the actual magic happens so we take this every frame and we call uh, we loop uh, for every player um, we get the we get the canvas and then uh, we get the directions of the player, we get the location of the player, then when, then we um, fill the, um, so this is not be friends, this is like team attitude, right? So we have an array of tuple, this is a vector 3 and a team attitude. So we fill it uh, for <clears throat> all the alive uh, NPCs and then we add all the, um, we add all the players. Um, so basically, we are, we will, we are going to, uh, down below, we are going to create widgets using the data in the marker tuples array. So first, we collapse all the marker widgets, we remove them, and then we um, set them visible again. This is a little trick that we do for you know, moving like constantly changing widgets on the UI. If you, I mean, it should work if you just remove and add them, but um, maybe they fix it, I don't know, but this is how we do it to ensure that it works. Um, <clears throat> so, of course, then we look if there is um, uh, there is um, more marker data than we have widgets for this agent. Um, then we basically add those first, so if we first create those widgets. <clears throat> and then... Um, we basically, yeah, we fill those widgets with the new values and we add uh, add them to the canvas. So, for each like marker data, uh, we look at the team. We get the team attitude. We deal, we get the location of that agent or the NPC. Then we get it from the attitude. We get the texture and the size. Then we set those for this widget. Then here, so here is just a simple math. Uh, we do a projection um, from the world to the radar. So using so we get the offset uh, between the two so between the um, other location so this is the other player or the NPC and the current player so we get the the difference vector between them the offset vector then we um, get a dot product of them so this is basically the um, uh, so the dot product between the the difference vector and the player right and player forward so this is um, basically gets us the um, local X and local Y coordinates on the um, projected uh, coordinate space then of course uh, we then we need to um, divide these by their minimap radius row length because we want this value to be something between 0 and 1 um, <clears throat> so we do that for X and Y and then, uh, uh, but of course, since the player is at the center, the player marker is at the center, and that's uh, the anchor is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for that. So we add the diffs to that, we create an anchor vector. <clears throat> and then also we um, then look uh, so that the anchor distance, uh, so we calculate the anchor um, distance between the anchor of the player marker and the new anchor right and we make sure it's smaller than uh, 0.5 why are we doing this because this is actually 
right uh, up to this point what are what we are doing is actually a you know uh, we are this is basically some calculation from a world space to another world space so this is not some actually projection to a circle so we could basically if this anchor distance is greater than 0.5 it means that we are outside of the circle and we don't want that so uh, if that's the case we are not going to put that widget um, we're not going to put it on the radar and but if it if it is in the circle then we're just going to um, create a slot for that and then we that we will add it we'll add that slot to the canvas and that's the entire code so let me show you all of it slowly so you can type it if you want to but you can also get it from our patreon as well all right and this one is a much more simple like um spatial math compared to our um, color view code okay and that's the entire thing so let me okay i'm not going to push the changes because i didn't actually make any um, changes that make sense for this one oops all right so if he so you can see the radar on the top so if i come here so these are these guards are the on the same team with me so that you can see they are green uh markers and these are the enemies so i actually so this is a, another team so it's red so this is i guess this was like neutral or wildlife or something so i wanted it to show yellow but even though like it still shows red i don't know um, but as you can see, it's really smooth, and you know, as if I'm as I'm rotating it, they show the you know correct direction uh, relative to me. So if they're in front of me, they're going to show uh, at the in front of the um, radar, and if they are at you know at the back of me, then they'll show at the at the back and the radar. And actually, um, yeah, and that's that's it. Mm. and actually i also want to do something else um uh, but this is the entire thing so you will get the updated code of course but i want to add this to make sure if we are not um adding this widget then make sure that we are um Make sure we are marking that widget. Make sure we are making that basically not visible. I mean, it shouldn't be visible because this widget is already being removed from the canvas slot. But you know, it can ha things happen. So, uh, rest UI is not perfect. Um, Sometimes, you know, it, it might take some time to actually, we are calling remove, but it might take uh, reverse UI some time to actually remove that widget. So we are making sure, we're making sure that widget is not, uh, if even if it's not removed properly, we're setting its size to zero. So basically it won't be visible. And, and yeah. And that's all. Um... So that that was the right uh, that was the radar um, that was the minimap tutorial for you um, so and that was all to so access the code or the assets of this video uh, you can check our patreon thanks for watching like subscribe and share if you've enjoyed and also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next see you later